All right, we're here. New new OMG, bro. Old OMG versus new OMG. Who's gonna run down rookie this year? It might be Aki. All right, let's see the Shanji Udir, the actual goat. All right, into draft. Hey, Tristana, Renata, Ash, Band, LeBlanc, Callista. What is the priority on Varus now? Varus would be really high. Lucian Milio would be really high. Fodic has always been a huge Lucian player. Maybe they like Milio first pick, Lucian Milio, something like that. Could go Azir. They could go Nocturne in LPL. People. Oh, actually, no. Nocturne just got banned. Um, could go Varus. I mean, if you're going Azir, you're normally giving Varus and then 2 3 Lucian Milio. Kind of your line that you take. I don't know. Will it be Senna Seraphine? Will they be willing to play Senna Seraphine in LPL? Back when this was good, like in previous seasons, they didn't prioritize it close to as high as it was prioritized in um in like LEC LCS. But Senna pick with Yone mean, means that Seraphine is most likely coming on three. They just go Lucian Milio into it. I mean, it could be Senna Tom or whatever as well. Oh, they went Zaya. Zaya Rakan? I mean, Zaya Rakan is good into Senna Tom. It's always been like fine into Senna Tom. What happens if they just go Senna Seraphine? Or is Senna Seraphine just not a thing in China ever? It's just Senna Tom every time? Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's no Rumble ban into Shanji. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? Udyr ban and Rumble ban. God damn it. Both the champions I wanted to see Shanji play. Both banned. All right, Burden. All right. Right, burden this is what this is what you do you're going to take this line against my goat shanji you normally take kasante on four because if you do these bands and you give him kasante that means you're trolling so yeah they they do these bands to take kasante on four atrox all right shanji atrox bro are they not just like really lacking magic damage on lgd bro this atrox is gonna have seven thousand million armor am i missing something or did lgd just draft a full ad comp for no reason into rel atrox i mean even rakan likes playing into this oh shit this is a three man dive it's looking like a three-man dive a stacked wave mid into three-man dive Clean. that guy's dead as though you're happy about this if you're rookie got both of his thumbs got first blood he got denied a couple minions of exp bro what is happening top lane is this just the atrox Cassante matchup or why is he 30 hp that's ah, probably fine. Thorn Shield is just broken. One of those matchups where it starts going like this, and you're like, damn, bro, like, should I have, uh, I've taken Doran's Blade in this matchup? Do I actually need D Shield? Hey, yeah, just can harass him under turf. It. Bro, he does not care. Like, enemy jungler is basing, he knows the enemy jungler is top. I mean, we have Rakan moving. Meteor is trying to just get one. And on top of him, make him flash. Good. Okay, rookie. Oh, he just f***ed this guy. Uh, close. Killbot. Level six. They're just gonna go on Kepler, right? Yep, that's good. Okay, well played, Aki. I like that. Surely this in Zaya does some damage, right? Meteor has no ult, should be fine. Okay, Aki on the rel. Uh, Rookie's gonna TP bot here eventually. That's the play. NIP takes over mid and then they play for bot. They play for Rookie TP bot. I think it's fine. They should be able to save him. Oh, Jin Zhao went in on that? Nah, nah, nah. No way. No way this is allowed. Good shield break. He flash over here? Honestly, I think that there might be a flash over angle. But he has ult. They're so useless at this point. I think that they can send it there, to be honest. Oh, they're actually just gonna. So, because the enemy team moved over, like fully as well, they're just sending Zaya back bot. Also, Rookie wants to make sure that he bases on Nash's Tooth Gold. I think that's a huge thing that they're looking for. Like, Rookie didn't want to just base TP on, like, components. The Aatrox is going Eclipse. I mean, Eclipse is good on Aatrox, but I just think Sundered Sky is so broken on him. I mean, any item that's based off healing. 
when you have a healing amplifier in your kit is kind of crazy. Donji has no TP, Bird all has TP, they have to be careful, they can get engaged on here. But Bird all would lose a lot for it, so maybe they just play it anyway. A Meteor is just dead. Maybe not, Tom saved him. I mean, he could have died, but they used the Rel Q on... Um, on Drake to secure it, instead I have to go Kraken this game. I don't think I don't I don't ever see Kraken on uh on Senna anymore. I mean I think that just in general, if your champion used to build Kraken or Lethality, like if you if your champion had the choice between Kraken Slayer and Lethality, everyone is just going Lethality now. Kanji has Eclipse here. There's no way that they can kill him, right? Even Procta yet? Wait, they actually just TP and kill him, I guess. We couldn't TP, or we couldn't like help him at all. God damn, it's like essentially five man bot. Is this even good? Let's let's see if this is good. They killed two rookie got top. He's gonna push in. Um, he's gonna push in for here too. He's got five grubs as well, and they're hitting mid. And they got Rift Herald. I think that this is like honestly not that bad. Let's see how much Rookie gets top. If Rookie gets tier two, I, I'm calling this shit worth. I doesn't get it. I like half of it. They use a lot of stuff right before Drake though, or like that won't be up for Drake. Mainly Birdall's TP. So now Birdall will have to lane bot. I guess overall it's fine for LGD. Slightly positive. After the patch, it says 2.4. It's 2.5. Where do you see 2.5? Bam. Okay. Hi, Chow. Jesus. Balance Yone. Yone is so stupid, man. I, I swear Yone is just like one of the least balanced champions in the game. The only reason that it's like able to exist in the state that it's existing for so long is because it has the illusion of being like really skill intensive. Well, I mean, hi, Chow. Like, it's actually really hard to kill this Yone, man. Like, this comp kind of sucks into Yone. They need to like combo onto him or it's going to be really hard. Plus, there's a. Tom Kench to eat him. This actually looks like a pretty hard game for NIP. Okay, it's all about can Haichou do anything? Aki didn't get a good ult here. Haichou got kind of chunk though. Oh my god, Shanji's in there. Thundered Sky proc. They got the Drake. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh my god, Photic pulled the... Okay, Flash. Honestly, I think they played it pretty well, but I mean, the comp is like kind of hard to play at this point. Void Staff for Rookie. Pretty early. Surprising he went Void Staff. Most people just go Crypt Bloom. Like on every champion. Mentality. Or they're just going straight mid. Build the turret. Trying to get people to show. Oh, Aki got a three man, kind of. Oh, Rookie got one shot. Oh, no. And they kill Meteor. They, they can't kill Meteor. He gets eaten. It's really tough for them to win. Photic doesn't have damage. Rookie has no TP as well. What did Rookie get hit by? This is Juani ult. Yone ult. Really bad. Like, I don't know if people know that Leandris was changed, but it was changed. I think Leandris is fucking broken now. Yeah, I mean, it's broken on other champions. Like, Leandris is broken on, um, on like, Udyr and Lilia and these types of champs, for example. Kanji's just dead. He had, oh, he should have flashed it. Oh, they lose Baron. I think that they're, like, it's weird <clears throat> because... You think that what would happen is like in a game like this, you'd be able to stack armor, but it feels like Zaya actually does nothing. Like, it, like you actually just don't have any damage. So the fact that they're like full AD doesn't mean you can front to back better, I guess. You just lose front to back. I, mean, I guess Yone is just so OP, it doesn't matter. Yo, okay. Wow, Zaya looks horrible on this patch, bro. It just feels like it doesn't do any damage compared to like it's like if you're not gonna do damage late game anyway what is the point of playing a crit ad it's weird right because like in like what you think league of legends is like with your like with the perception of what league of legends generally is 
They're actually losing mid and hip for this, by the way. They get the Drake, but they lose mid and hip. Kind of cringe macro from LGD. And they don't even have to take the inhib, I guess. It probably would have ended up being free, but... A rookie had no flash. I mean, I wonder I wonder if that's good. That's probably good for rookie to do. Just trade ults with a uh, Yone. Like Yone without ult, like lose a lot of power. Okay, they're on Meteor. Birdall's in, he's on Shanji. Please tell me Zaya does damage in this fight. Their their Yone literally was not in the fight the entire fight. Dude, Zaya has to be just dog shit. I refuse to believe this champion is, is a real champion. They're literally hitting frontline, fighting 4v5 for like 10 seconds. Okay, you're walking straight into the guy that you know is here, by the way. Like, you, you know where he took his E back to. The only way to win this would be to like walk up and fight. But they were literally fighting 4v5 for like 5 seconds, and their Zaya can't get through the tanks on 4 items. Like, what do you even build to do damage on Zaya these days? Like, what could you even build? I, I mean, this is the build you used to do, do damage. Like, W is 55 bonus attack speed. On Tristana, it's 120. Good. Good from Rookie. Got a game-winning play? Nope, there's nothing on the map. Maybe they can go mid. They need to, like, hard force. Rookie needs to base CP, and I think they need to try to, like, end the game. I think they actually have to try to end the game. Burl has no ghost. Yeah, I mean they have to. They have to like try to just leverage this advantage. They have to have to like do something that wins the game here. Yeah, Burl should die here. It is Cassante, but he should be dead. Good flash. Okay, what else can we do? What, what else can we do? Forty nine on Baron. I mean that that means you should be able to get Baron. So they leverage the Yone kill into a Cassante kill. Now they should be able to get Baron off it. They're like, let me fix it for. It's like the same thing when you have like a computer problem as a streamer. You're like, hmm, like this is like happening on my PC. Okay. Can they actually get Mountain Soul off this? I don't even know if Mountain Soul wins in the game. I still feel like they need to do well with it. Rookie is just dead, I guess. He has no E. Bird all TP'd behind. Kodak is just dead. Uh, maybe they can survive if they die here, the game is over. Oh. Aki just failed the f out of his flash. Yeah, I mean, they didn't even get the mountain, so I don't know, bro. Honestly, this game feels like it doesn't make sense. Feels like NIP should be stronger. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just how the game is these days. Like, tank items are really insane. So tanks are just better. So I guess you can just go like full AD. So even if the enemy team has like a balanced team comp, like in older seasons, you'd be like, oh, left, left team comp outscales because you have multiple frontliners into two champions that theoretically, sh oh my God, wait, when you hover things, wait, on Billy Billy, if you hover players, it'll get like, obviously like right now, it, it doesn't show anything because it's their first game, but it'll give you like stats of like their different, I guess, like skills, like farming and everything. It's kind of, it's kind of hype to be honest billy billy is goaded okay rookie actually got out of the one ult it doesn't matter let's be honest it doesn't matter does it to finish my point it used to be that if you had like multiple frontliners into a team that had a frontline but also like a competent backline the backline would just outscale it in terms of just like it would just do enough damage that you hit a certain point with crit where the enemy frontline melts. But it just doesn't feel like that because the crit items are weaker and tank items are stronger. So now, like, having Rukern on Sejuani and Cassante, like, having these two items, like, their HP bars are so inflated that it's not even like Azir really, like, two shots them anymore. Like, the chunks don't matter. Like, look, look, they're hitting, bro. They were hitting. Like, they just CC'd Birdall, and Azir hit him a few times, and so did Fotik. And he didn't even go to half HP. It was a diff over time. And it shows, like, the drakes and everything at the bottom. Okay, they went on high chow. That was just terrible. That was a horrible engage from... Joe. All right, they're hitting. They killed. They actually ended up killing him. Like rookie and and Fodic saved it. Oh my God, they killed the backline. Wait, they won the game. Holy! 
They won the game. This game felt really wrong, though. Wow, they actually won. Joel played this like, I mean, it was not clean at all. Like, the engage didn't even end up, like, landing, really. Odekin and, uh, and Rookie just ended up carrying it. They flashed and then repositioned and everything. Okay. Maokai, Heimer. I thought they were maybe going something like Heimer and Varus on three. No way it's a Scion, right? There's no way we go Maokai Scion this early. Kasante for Shanji. All right, let's see the goat Kashanji Kashanji back in action, bro. Kashanji was like it was a it was a great thing to watch last year. What are we going here? They're probably not going Kindred, right? Wow, they're going Kindred. I mean, they are playing versus double tank. I don't think Kindred is that good for the same reason that I don't think that crit supports are that good or crit ads are that good. I just think that the items are not insane on Kindred anymore. I wonder what you even build. Do you still just go like Kraken Triforce? Just go like an off tank build? What exactly is he doing? Yone? Rookie Yone? Damn. Okay, so Rookie just thought he's like, damn, bro, playing Azirith Yone is kind of kind of cringe. I'll do the same thing. Uh, buy on Udyr to, or Cheetah Recall this game. I mean, this in this matchup, I like buying Dark Seal. I really like Dark Seal in this matchup. Like just Cheetah Recalling for Dark Seal. But you don't have to cheat a recall in this matchup. You win until, like, you just want to get a recall off before six. Like, a profit, uh, a good recall before six. Wait, hovering the scoreboard. Holy shit. Wait, it's kind of OP. Hero development? Oh my god. Wait, this is so broken. Wait. Oh, they took it off for a second because the scoreboard stopped showing. But wait, you get hero development. You can see like the bottom is economy, bottom left is kills, top left is vision. It takes their average and compares them. If you check the top right box, it overlays the enemies on the roll on it too. Ah, cool. So wait, it's top right is damage dealt. Bottom right is deaths. Bottom is economy, like gold. Bottom left is kills. Top left is vision. What is top? Top is assists. Wait, that's crazy. And you just press opponent player and it'll be like, okay, so I got to memorize that at some point. But yeah, like this is gold, depth, assists, kills. Top right is damage. Vision. Okay. Got to memorize that at some point, but yeah. Useful, bro. Cool. Nice. Thank you. Aki is here, though. Can he go into Kepler? Good. Well played, Aki. Wow, that was actually really well done. Q flash e into his E in the bush, then Ws him after. Like, all right, bro. I see you. Because the, the, I mean, the, th the thing there is the Senna doesn't want to flash early because Maokai can't W him because he's not in the Shroud, right? Like, Maokai doesn't have the ability to point and click on him when Senna has Eon. So it's actually really nice how Aki played it because he took advantage of, like, how the other guy wants to play. This guy's dead. No flash. Good return kill for Meteor. Looks like he is going the Kraken build. Let's see if he goes Kraken Triforce. Meteor is so ELO held. Yep. He's pretty ELO held. Shanji gets his TP soon. And Bertle is playing the lane pretty well, to be honest. It's one of the better Uders I've seen. They already got multiple plates as well. You just tank it with double W, or how do they play it? Good from Shanji, man. The Q timing? Oh, Shanji! That's the Kashanji right there, bro. Oh my god, he's the goat. That's my f***ing boy, let's go. Dude, he's actually so good, man. He's so good on this champion. How is that legit allowed, though? How is it not, like, patched? What happened here? We didn't even see this. Oh, Meteor had no flash. Yeah, game's ff -able. I mean, after that, after your top essentially gets 2v1, even though Maokai was there to help at the end, but, like, after this top play goes the way it did, it's really hard to play the game. But that's, like, the way that you should be doing your grubs in solo queue. You should just, like, yeah, you should just time it. Pros get in trouble of doing it? Probably not. I mean, there's a lot of, like, bugs that are in the game that people are doing. Like, all the time. Mm. 
阿 K 和上把很像啊，就前期的一个节奏非常。对，哎，打断裁判。Oh, this guy's dead. Oh, he's got a shield. Oh, he ghosted. I don't think we needed to Malkai ult this, but maybe you hit somebody else. Oh my God, Loki getting murdered by the saplings. Eh? Good buffer from Rookie. <laughs> oh, he didn't get into it. He should have kept him. Uh, I don't actually know what he. I guess he keeps on hitting Meteor and stays in the ult. Tries to get Q3 so he can Q3 back in. I don't know. It's pretty hard. And Bo walked down. Well, Bo walked to line himself up. I mean, I could watch it again. We could watch it again after this. I've watched it multiple times. And I'm pretty sure that Kargamos just literally fucked up the buffer. I mean, it's weird because it looks like they get hit by the same route. Let me see. Oh, wait. This whole game is over, by the way. Oh, my God, Shanji. All right. Yeah, game's over. FF. That game's just lost. I mean, they have Hexex Soul. Lucian, it's almost like Lucian is a good champ when you watch LPL. Yeah, it just seems so broken over here. I don't know. Like, Hope's Lucian looked really insane. Photix Lucian, it just looks like he can do so much damage. Oh my god, what the fuck? Yeah, it's terrible, actually. We should just... I think that because it has low win rate in the West, because it's losing every game, that everyone should just give up on it forever. Rookie could have maybe killed him there. Actually, maybe as he expired. Dude, it literally looks like Bo and Targa must get hit by the same route. This actually looks like a bug, honestly. Because when they're both rooted, the first route is still going. So the second root disappears and the first root is still going and they're both rooted. Actually looks fucked. Whatever. Shanji's in there. He's gonna die here. Oh, never mind. Stack his Q. Oh, he didn't get it off. Alright, bro, rookie. Calm down. We're gonna die here. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Odic is just flashing forward. Wait, he just dashed into Udyr. He just doesn't give a f Probably not good to dash into Udyr. Wait, they actually just threw randomly. And they have three inhibs. They just recall and they win the game. How much gold do they just throw? Probably find out. Oh. In room. Yeah. Wait, actually, Lucian died. Hold up. Wait, Lucian had another shutdown. Okay. Yeah, it's GG. Been on them with the waves now. Kishan G, bro. He's back. Dude, I think Jocho is such a terrible idea. I mean, it's, it's probably fine at this point. Oh, he went unending despair. An ending to spare Jocho is like, it feels like you're building 600 gold worth of items just to have like an improved Jocho from last season. Surely we can just sit on them here. Surely we can just end the game, right? Nah, no way. They can't end? Really? They can't end there? I mean, they have no range to hit the turret. I thought they would just be able to sit on them. Damn. They have to go Elder and Baron. Holy shit. Oh my god, Shachi just went to Narnia because of the stopwatch. Alright, GG boys. Took a little bit longer to end than it should have. Kind of grief, but hey, at least they beat LGD.